But a lot of comments came with, oh, um, it's a long time coming, long time coming. No, the God that I serve, everything happens when it's supposed to happen. Is her relationship with American sprinter Christian Coleman included in her statement, everything happens when it's supposed to happen? Well, that's what people think at least. In fact, her presence at the recently concluded Milrose Games fueled more speculations about their supposed relationship. You all know Shakari, given her record-breaking wins last year, it would be impossible if you have not heard of her. Now, Christian Coleman, for his part, is pretty good at his craft, too. He is actually right behind Noah Lyles in the race to the top. Anyhow, for those who wanted their memory jogged about Coleman, first, you should be reminded that he is an American professional track and field sprinter who competes in the 100 meters and 200 meters. So far in his career, he has achieved quite a long list of accolades. To give you the highlights, Coleman is a three-time world champion, one-time Diamond League final winner, three-time world championship silver medalist, and one-time world indoor champion. Like I said, he is great at his craft and is considered to be one of the best sprinters of his generation. In fact, he is the world's sixth and America's third fastest sprinter in the 100-meter dash. While he had done well in the past years, of course not without his fair share of losses, he wasn't particularly remarkable at last year's World Championships in Budapest, where he failed to achieve a podium finish. In the semifinals, Coleman got his traditional fast start and maintained his form to win the second heat in 9.88. Then, at the final, he got his usual swift start, but eventually had to settle for fifth place in 9.92. By the end of the race, it was his fellow U.S. athlete Noah Lyles who took the men's 100-meter title in 9.83, the fastest time run this year. Still, Coleman's fifth place at the Worlds is one step better than his sixth place finish the previous year, as his teammates swept the podium spots. Good for him, though. He made sure to end the season on a good note. So, at the Jamen Diamond League 2023, the 2019 world champion clocked 9.83 to beat Jamaica's Kashane Thompson with Fred Curley third and reigning Olympic champion Marcel Jacobs down in seventh. His time of 9.83 just matched the world's fastest 100-meter time of the year. Just in case I wasn't clear enough, his time of 9.83 matched Zamel Hughes and Noah Lyles' 2023 joint world lead. As a result, Coleman now shares the title of the world's fastest man of the season with fellow American Noah Lyles, the new world champion, and Brit Zamel Hughes. What a comeback! It was just a few weeks after the Worlds, but he already pulled himself together enough to match the fastest record of the year. To be fair, his getting that time wasn't much of a surprise since Coleman basically blasted out of the blocks to win the men's 100 meter at the inaugural Jamen Diamond League. Using all 10 lanes inside the Egret Stadium, he made a superb start and stayed clear despite a fast finish from Kishane Thompson. Coleman powered to the front early in the race and maintained his form to hold off the rest of the pack. Then, at the Diamond League final in Eugene a few weeks later, Coleman held off a charging Noah Lyles to win his first Diamond League trophy in five years. A pumped-up Coleman exclaimed, In races like that, I usually might get tight or just not execute the back end, but I was able to just find a sense of confidence and believe in myself like I knew I was supposed to win this race, and so I was able to stay composed and put out a win at the end. This year, I feel like I had a mental breakthrough to where I'm able to just find my stride and stick to it. And I feel like next year, I'll be able to capitalize. Some say that hanging out with Shikari in Budapest inspired him. Most of you probably know that the newly crowned women's 100-meter world champion Shikari Richardson and Christian Coleman have sparked dating rumors after being caught in a cozy outing in Budapest. It all started when an unknown woman posted online how she caught both track stars trying to disguise themselves at McDonald's on the last day of the World Championships in Budapest. According to the woman, she saw the two again at her hotel, which is coincidentally the same hotel where all the American athletes were staying. She further shared that she saw the two again upon checking out and asked for a picture, which the track stars obliged. 
But what really got people thinking and talking was the two's interaction after Shakiri ran the last leg of the women's 4x100 meter final and won. The video was captioned, the way Christian Coleman slammed Shakiri Richardson on the floor after that 4x100 meter win. Honestly speaking, that is what he basically did. What we couldn't discount, though, was the fact that he was right by the finish line and was instantly excitedly running towards Shikari immediately after she passed the line. It didn't escape the public's attention that in December, Shikari signed with HSI's sports management company based in California. In an Instagram post, they said, HSI International Sports Management is pleased to announce world champion Shikari Richardson has retained HSI for management and agent representation. Emmanuel Hudson, the managing director of HSI, expressed his enthusiasm for the partnership and explained that they will be keen to assist the American as she seeks to achieve her goals. He described her as a young woman who is a bright light, which was made pretty obvious by the young girls and boys who look up to her. Shikari's next decade will be fruitful, and we are pleased she chose us to be a part of that journey," he added. Upon joining the top sports management company, she now trains alongside other top American athletes, including three-time world champion Christian Coleman and Twanisha Terry. Yes, you heard that right. They are now under the same management. No wonder tongues are wagging. Then, a few days ago, the rumor mill was running once again after Shikari was cited at the Milrose Games. Because of her presence at the event, many are wondering if she was there just to watch Christian Coleman. As many of you know, the reigning world 100-meter champion is yet to open her 2024 season and appeared to enjoy watching other athletes compete as she gets ready for her season opener. That is, without a doubt, what people have been looking forward to seeing. It is no secret that Shikari aims to compete at the Paris Olympics in a few months. Speaking to Track and Field News, the publication that named her USA's Female Athlete of the Year, Shikari Richardson conveyed her relentless ambition, stating, We're not stopping at the world champion. We cannot stop at world champion, but it is a nice beginning. She is focused on both the 100 meters and 200 meters. I'm a 1-2 runner and I want you guys to see this, she said. If or when she competes in Paris, it would be her first time to actually compete in the Olympic Games. Anyhow, Richardson has come up stronger from the lows of not competing in the Tokyo Games. She has risen so much that she was among the top 30 in Forbes under 30 class of 2024 list of movers and shakers in sports, as well as named the 2023 Jackie Joyner Kersey Athlete of the Year in addition to having a track named after her. 2023 had been a good year for her. What happens this season remains to be seen. Just like we are yet to see what will happen to this athlete and whether or not we'll see them in Paris.